Hi there, um, so this will be the second part to um, the setting up of a sort of sun exposure analysis uh, using 3ds Max and that is uh, cumulative sun exposure, hence 12 suns. Um, so we've set up the suns in the previous tutorial and in this one we're interested in exposure control, so how to actually render um, images that are based on how the sun how much light exposure is hitting the different surfaces in the scene. So to do that, um, what we can do is go to rendering and exposure control. We then um, change this to Suedo color exposure control, which is the control which um, analyzes um, sun exposure. So we will probably need to play around with this minimax at the moment. It's uh, 0 to 50. Um, and we might have a look at what a more appropriate um, amount is. So if we just sort of plug in some random values, see what we get. Starting to see um, a better image, put that in um, the top view so we can sort of see it. And so there you can sort of play around with the exposure. The important thing is to change it to suedo colour exposure and then change it to grayscale. So you might just um, it looks quite bright at the moment, so maybe if we add a bit more um, here. And maybe adjust this one some more. It's starting to get pretty intense scene. So I might just play around with those settings a little bit more and come back to you. Okay, so we seem to be missing a few of the midtones in this image that we're working with, so I'll reduce this down, the minimum down, and then we can see we're starting to get some soft tones, and that's probably much more indicative of where shading is um, occurring in the streets and where um, sun exposure is pretty becoming pretty high, so I think that scale is probably how um, we'll have, we'll look at it from here. So in terms of now that we've got our scene and we've got our way of um, measuring exposure. We could try different building iterations, so we could have a look at the different times of year and see how that affects it. But what we would want in to do sort of any comparisons is um, to set some camera, standard cameras. So to get like a plan view camera, um, the easiest way is to sort of capture that area that you're interested in, which might be this, and then go to top and set it to perspective. Let's go back a bit. Back to top. Just perspective. And now go to create cameras. Create from view. And then I can call this camera plan and when we go to the modifier we want to change it to orthographic projection so that creates our plan view again and now we can't move it around we've got it set so um, that'll be useful if we want to do analysis between different plans with different sort of alterations of, of building um, morphology or say comparing different times of the year. Thank you for listening.